Hey guys, it's me, Fake Analyst again, with another Sky Guide. Um, if you haven't seen the first one yet, the link is gonna be in the description. And yeah, in this one I'm gonna be specifically going over bind. First I'm gonna be going through attack on every entrance, and then I'm gonna be going through defense on every entrance. Uh, we're gonna talk about a few things, like really taking when to push, a few neat tricks, a few good flashes, so... Make sure to stick to the end, and enjoy the video. So! Starting things off, I'm gonna be talking about the pistol rounds. Um, on attack, I really like to just buy a tiger and the ghost. Nothing too much to say about this. Uh, the drone is very OP in the pistol rounds, so keep in mind that you really should be buying it. But you can also like buy two flashes, buy heal, whatever uh, is your personal preference. And on defense, I like to buy two flashes. I'll explain later in the video why, but uh, I just play pistol rounds normally in belong on defense, so yeah. Before I get into the rest of the video, I really want to point out that if you are playing alone on attack sky, you should most of the time pressure bathrooms, is the easiest area for you to play. And on defense you should play garden most of the time, if you're playing alone. So these are the two main areas that uh, you should focus on, pressure it, get a lot of space, try to get the orbs from them, get as many ults out as possible. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna explain the rest in the video. If I start in showers, I usually just throw this flash, I try to bounce it behind the wall, so that I gather the information, potentially even blind the enemy, and you get yourself a free pick. If the enemies use any sort of smokes, utility, you can either wait it out, decide for yourself, you can use another flash to pre pressure them off, or you can just use your tiger with your teammates and take the showers forcibly, and potentially even get a kill or two. Moving to short, um, listen to the guy in my chat. Uh, I also really like to throw this flash, pop it behind the corner, you can also have your gun out while you're doing it, it's a really good flash. I explained how uh, wall riding flashes work in my previous video if you want to check that out, um, but in general just playing on short, throwing this flash, having a gun out, pressuring everyone close to probably turn away because it serves as a fake flash, and everybody on top of truck is gonna be forced off angles, on lamps, close short, everyone is just forced off, and you can also use the tiger to help your teammates entry and it's a really super effective way to get a lot of space in short. You can also use the tiger early on and get griffed by your target dummy. Moving on to hookah, I really don't like playing this area a lot. I might start here through a flash like this, just to gather information and go long. But uh, in general, if we have raise, I just let him and somebody else play uh, hookah and I really assist my team in long because this area <clears throat> is kind of perfect for your dog you get close corners you can stun people your teammates can follow it you get a lot of information for the entire site and it's just a lot better scenario in general than playing hookah but if i do play here i tend to just use the dog for hookah if for example you didn't have a raise you just dog it you stun him your teammates trade it and it should be kind of free speaking of long though the only thing I normally do is just walk up here, use the tiger, gather as much information as I can, try to stun somebody, maybe get my team a kill or two, and by the time we have a garden area, you're basically already up on site if the team does everything right, if you want to straight up execute, but if you want to play slow and you get stuck in this area, a good flash is probably this one, because it just gets people off these angles, because uh, they're normally up here, and you can just then look for fights. Support your teammates even if they smoke you, or flash through the smoke, and do whatever is necessary after that. So starting off defense, I'm gonna be going from A showers to A short to hookah to garden. So first off, starting showers, I don't really play here often, but whenever I do, if I contest this area, I normally just fight, or I do a flash like this, to gather information. Nothing specific, um, but if they already have showers and you have this area here, you can also use this wall riding flash to pop up, and you can also fight like further back. But just in general, I don't think Sky is that valuable in defense showers. She really has a lot more value towards uh, other entrances. So I do not recommend it, but if you do, figure out some flashes like this one. It's super good to fight with it because you know your gun's out when you pop it, and you can also just really take it with the dog. For example, if the enemies are four or five men pushing short, you can just walk into showers and take over here and save some space for your team, but in general, just stick to other entrances if it's possible. So when it comes to fighting on a short or a site in general, I really like to play lamps, be careful of brim ults and uh, other 
utility that can push you out but just in general uh, this is a good space for you to be because your flashes can cover a lot of area on short you can pop flash for yourself get a kill or two and you can also like hold showers from here gather information for short like throwing a flash deep and um, normally if they do overwhelm you it's totally okay to fall back to site you still have your utility to retake uh, the main idea, the main thing I want to focus on is not dying here because you can always like pop flash through smokes you can also use the dog for lamps later on if they take lamps and you're just a super uh, useful tool for your team to retake the entire A site and the flash I would normally use to retake A would be this one where you just throw it into holes and you pop it right there, okay? so you don't throw it, you, you don't pop it earlier because then it gets your teammates as well but if you pop it here, it kind of gets this guy as well and it also gets like the entire other lamps in sight area while it doesn't get your teammates so this guy is either forced to turn away or eat a flash because the flash would still get him here so i think that flash in general is super good but if you don't have a flash or uh, you just used one you can also dog st stun people close and uh, go go from that so when it comes to playing hookah you're mostly gonna encounter race players that are gonna boom bot here um so you can actually catch them off because a lot of them just boom bot and just blindly follow it without uh, any caution so whenever they try to shoot it they will just try to pick you so if you hear a boom bot for example you can just walk up and throw a flash here and swing with it it gets the entire area unless somebody is playing anti-flash and uh, unless they're on the right side of the area they're not going to be able to escape you while they're for blinded uh, just in general I want to point out that this flash is not as good as if you throw the one up here because uh, you get your weapon out a little faster, but uh, both should be fine. But yeah, that's normally the way I play hookah, if you want to pick it. If you don't want to pick it, you can just hold this area, uh, fall back to here, maybe let them have it, and then just retake it with the flash. That's also super good, but it's uh, quite difficult on the movement part. Uh, just in general, though, this should work for you. And lastly, I want to focus on Belong a little more, that's why I saved it for the end, because uh, this is the area you're gonna spend the most time with. Uh, it's basically the strongest area uh, out there, because you have a lot of space here to cover with your flash, and if you do flash somebody, they really have nowhere to run unless they're chambered jet or something similar. And um, that's why I normally want to play here, you can also gather a lot of information by throwing a long flash. So for example, you throw this flash at the beginning of the round, and then you wait, do you have any more information? Okay, I blinded somebody, I hear somebody pushing, somebody's running up, and then you just pop flash for yourself, get a free kill, or two maybe. Just be cautious of this, because a lot of people know that Sky uh, is played on long, so they're probably gonna play anti-flash. Um, so what I like to do is just sit in a corner, maybe on an off angle like this, and kill the first guy, like just at all out aim him, because you have a stronger ang angle than him. And once you kill the first guy, you can go for the flash after, and then you keep fighting while enemies don't expect the flash because you already killed somebody. So that's the way I normally play Garden. I either um, spot for information or I just fight for it. Uh, but for example, the, there is a scenario where you don't flash anybody in long, so you throw a bird, you get no one. You are feel free to run up here, basically post up on this angle. Like nobody is gonna stop you unless they're waiting for you, which is kind of odd sometimes, you know, like people really don't, especially not in ranked, they're just gonna group as five and uh, hit places. So if you flash early on, obviously don't do this after eight rounds or something, okay? If you're flashing here every round, people might pick it up and they will avoid the first one and try to catch you off. Um, but for example, this is the third round, you just flashed, okay, there's no one, feel free to run down long, post up on this angle, you get all of this map area for free, and you just tell your teammates play four towards A, you keep this area, and then you wait. You either decide, um, like the way I decide when I push or don't, is if um, the chamber's dead, that's first, <laughs> or there's no trips, and the second one is, uh, are the enemies fighting? If they're not fighting and they're just waiting, there's no reason for me to push and risk dying that somebody is watching the flank. So I just like to sit in this area, listen for footsteps, gathering information, and um, <clears throat> if they do start fighting on A, then you slowly creep up behind them, and make sure you don't play too fast. Because if you play too fast and die, you put your team in a really awful position, because they basically lost the entire B side of the map space, so they have to retake it all, and the people could be anywhere. So it's really dangerous if you die. So the priority for you as a lurker, as a flanker, is not to die. Try not to focus on getting too many multi-kills. Although, they might happen. I got you.
So this basically brings me to the end of my video. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something new, something useful, something that's gonna help you click some extra heads while they're fully blinded with some good birds. And yeah, if you like the video, if you like the content, like down below, maybe, please comment. I don't know, subscribe. Eh, I don't know. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.